Hi, I'm Jeff, and this is how to make a divider in Microsoft Word. Now, by divider, you're probably talking about a line that divides one section of a document from another. So visibly, people say, OK, I've reached the end of this section, and now I'm on to the next, when they read it in print or even in your Microsoft Word application. Uh, actually not too hard to do it. There are a few methods to do it. One of the easiest is to use uh, Microsoft Word's own replace as you type features uh, which know that certain characters when you put them in together in combinations mean certain things. For instance, if I'm here in my article and I type three minuses, dashes, and hit enter, you can see that they've been replaced by an actual I don't know, a little, little divider there. And that's a good thing. That's what we want. Uh, there are other characters that will do similar things. In fact, if I do three underscores, that's holding on the shift, the same key, three underscores and hit enter, you can see it's a slightly thicker line. Uh, different characters give you different styles of lines. Three equals and enter gives you a double line. Three asterisks and enter gives you a dotted line. Uh, three number signs, the pounds and enter gives you a triple line and so on. Uh, they all give you a different style of line, which is pretty useful. Um, what you don't have to worry about, though, is actually memorizing all of those, because if you don't want to, if you don't want to have the, uh, the underlines in there like that, um, the special characters, you can actually just use your formatting itself. Uh, I can go up here to Borders and Shading, Format, Borders and Shading, and make sure I'm on the Borders tab, and I can simply click a bottom border. It gives me bottom borders, uh, it, it takes them off, and it'll, you can actually change the style of the border there as well. You can change whether it's thick or thin, you can change the styling from dotted to solid and so on. Uh, you can specify the color in this case as well, which is very useful. You can't do that with the uh, automatic as you type kind of thing. Now if you ever want to type those characters and not have them turn into underlines. That's also possible, so you don't have to worry. You go up here into Tools, Auto Correct Options, go to the Auto Format As You Type tab, and right down here under Apply As You Type, it says Borderlines. If you uncheck that, then those borders won't happen anymore. Now, if I hit OK and come back into the document, I type three dashes and enter. Notice there's still just three dashes and a hard return. They haven't changed. If you want to put those back the way they were so they actually do convert, go back in, Tools, Autocorrect Options, make sure in the auto, for, auto Format As You Type tab, recheck borderlines and hit OK, and now three dashes, enter, we're back in business. I'm Jeff, and this is How to Make a Divider in Microsoft Word.